Hey everyone, been my first video here for a while. Been busy all summer and uh, recently went on a month long uh, vacation where we took the camper and uh, went to the east coast of Canada. But um, unfortunately, I didn't get any uh, videoing done uh, back there. I was going to do some ham radio stuff and uh, just didn't. Uh, didn't even set up the radio when I was back there. Never stopped long enough to do anything. Had a great trip, but uh, I'm back now and I'm hoping to uh, get some more content out. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to be uh, winterizing my camper. It's a bit late in the season, but uh, still above zero. Overnight it used to go a bit below zero, but uh, we're okay. Um, everything was fine inside. It's a four season camper, so nothing froze up. So first thing you want to do, of course, is make sure you drain all your, your tanks and uh, make sure they're empty um, and of course before you go to put the antifreeze in there on my camper there's a, um, a hot water tank bypass you want to switch that valve so you don't fill your hot water tank full of antifreeze and uh, then uh, I'll show you what's next of course I did drain my hot water tank already as well through the outside of the camper Um, yeah, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with my camper and winterizing it. All right, guys, so, uh, let's get started in the camper here. Of course, this is no, this is not intended to be a, uh, instructional video. I'm just showing you how I do my things and, um, hopefully it'll help you guys out if you're interested in watching it. Um, but again, like I say, this is how I do mine. Um, you guys should check with your manufacturer. Make sure you're doing yours correctly or your, your dealer. All right, guys, so here is the, uh, the antifreeze. Um, just bought it at uh, Canadian Tire here in Canada. If you're elsewhere, of course, your hardware stores or your RV dealer should have it. And I always buy more than I need. Better too much than not enough. Um, my hot water tank is under here. I'm not sure. There it is. And you can see that valve right there. I have changed that over to winterization and that way it doesn't uh, doesn't fill up the uh, the hot water tank with antifreeze wasting your antifreeze like I said the, the hot water tank has been drained so under here is the step for getting up to the bed and this just pulls off of here and there shows your plumbing so right down here is my water pump right here it's the water pump and this camper actually has uh, a hose right here and that's what you just stick in the jug and there's a valve right there that you switch so the valve is in the position right now to draw water out of its holding tank and sorry for the shaky video I take it and there you go I switched it and now it's going to draw from this hose right here and when I turn on the pump it'll draw it right out of the jug okay so you can see here I've got the hose in the jug now you'll notice that I did cut an opening on the top of the jug because uh, I, I took an empty windshield washer fluid jug and cut the end off and just poured the coolant or, uh, or the antifreeze sorry into it um, there's an end on my hose that was just just too big to fit through the opening, so I just cut the uh, cut the top off another old windshield washer jug, and I'll pour it in that as required. So as you can see, it's in there. I got the valve already put in place, and now I'll just turn my water pump on. You can see it going down as she's pressurizing. If it gets too low, I'll have to shut off the water pump. She should. Okay, it's getting pretty low. I'll top up that jug and turn it back on. Okay, so I've topped up that jug. Um, I did miss a valve on my hot water tank, so that's why it sucked down so much. Normally it wouldn't take that much. I, I thought there was only one valve, but apparently there was two. And uh, so I waste a little bit of my antifreeze. But anyway, so now that that's done, the water pump is on. The system's pressurized. So now all you gotta do is run your water until it turns pink like this. 
and let some of it run down in the, the traps, great. And you run both valves, hot and cold. See, there's, see how it changes. Hot water got, so it turns pink. There we go, it's starting to turn color. So that tap is done. Uh, and the same thing in the bathroom. And of course, if you have an outdoor shower, please don't forget to do that one because those uh, will freeze in a hurry. So don't forget your outdoor shower. Anyway, I'll uh, finish doing those taps. You just seen what I did. And when I'm done, I'll, I'll come back and uh, show you the, what I've uh, got finished. All right, guys, so there you have it. I'm all done. Um, I did waste a little bit of, of antifreeze because I did miss a valve in the hot water tank. So that's a good lesson learned. This is the first time I've actually done this camper. I've done my last two campers with their travel trailer, a little different animal, but mostly the same, but it uh, didn't take me long. Like I say, if I hadn't uh, missed that valve, I wouldn't have even needed near the amount of antifreeze. So it's quite a small system. Everything is full and uh, should be no problem. Should be no problem with uh, the cold weather this winter. Anyway, guys, Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out and uh, stay tuned for more content from my channel. Uh, my name is Greg. I'm VE6GCM73.